But of course, when you refer to sound, everyone sort of associates it with something that you listen to. Uh, with cymatics, this is not precisely so. It is literally the transplanting or the transmutation of accepted frequencies of sound into the tissue and structure of the human being. All the all, uh, uh, areas of the body, all the organs of the body, uh, produce a harmonic, a sound. Uh, this sound is very small and very minute. Um, th this again is not a new concept, not a new theory, uh, but it is only in comparatively uh, recent years uh, that technology has caught up with the concepts and the ideas of this, and we've been able to reproduce these frequencies and sounds. And now we can reproduce them, create them artificially, and transmit, transfer them back into the tissue and the structure. A lot of our doctors are referring it to transplant because technically I suppose this is what we are doing. We are transplanting the corrected frequencies back into the structure to replace any abnormalities that exist there. Mm. Also, of course, one of the strongest points which we advocate is that we can use this in place of drugs and medicine. And uh, if we can replace medicine with treatment, we find this is much better. It takes a little more time and you have to have a little more attention from your individual practitioner or your doctor. But then that is one of the things which we are trying to push forward at the present moment, that um, the medical profession treats every individual as a holistic being rather than a condition.